Space is a pretty crazy place, and there will never come a time when we will truly be able to comprehend everything that is out there. We can speculate and make educated guesses, but even those will fail us at times. Today we take in some crazy facts and finds in space. Number 25. Spaced out. It's been proven that pieces of the Milky Way are literally being sucked away. Like a giant hoover is up in space vacuuming up the mess the Milky Way has left behind. It was first noticed in 2009 when some galaxy clusters were moving at a rapid pace to a spot located between Centaurus and Vela, and scientists have dubbed it Dark Flow. Number 24. In the dark. From dark flow to dark matter, this space phenomenon is sort of like a giant spider web that holds the fast-moving galaxies together. All of the things that we can see, like the planets, stars, and galaxies, only make up 5% of what is actually out there. We can largely guess what makes up the rest except for 25%, which is classed as the dark matter. We can't see it, we have no idea what it really is, we have no understanding of it, yet we know it's there. There are different theories, with some believing that it's undiscovered particles, while others lean towards an undiscovered property of gravity. But it will be a while, if ever, if we ever know the truth. Number 23, hole in one. Black holes are crazy, and they occur when a massive star collapses and gets sucked into insanely intense gravity, that it even absorbs the surrounding light. Although we know how they work, it's impossible to see it, as they're invisible to us here on Earth. But wouldn't it be wild to be able to witness what happens on the inside of the black hole? Number 22, Space Oddity. There's a planet out there that is certainly not friendly at all, and it's called the Gliese 581c. Now here's the crazy thing. Scientists have claimed that future colonization would be possible on this planet. How they come to that, I don't know, because this is the reality. If you stood on the side of the planet facing the star, your face would melt off. If you stood on the other side facing away from the star, you would freeze instantly. The sweet spot where it's believed humans could live is located between these two extremes. It's also believed that due to the red color of the planet and the infrared radiation, plants that grow there would be a deep black color. Take it you're not such a salad lover anymore, are you? Number 21, Somewhere Out There. No, we're not singing the theme song from an American tale, but honestly, Somewhere Out There is a water reservoir in space, and it holds 140 trillion times the amount of water that is in our Earth's oceans. It's situated roughly 12 billion light years away, close to a black hole, and is made up of an H2O gas cloud. Number 20, Seeing Red. The color of Jupiter's red storm has long fascinated not only space junkies, but everybody. It's an intense red hurricane that's been blazing through the southern hemisphere of Jupiter for over 400 years. And it's so huge that three times the Earth could fit inside of it. The storm isn't always red and changes colors from pale pink to bright red, and it's getting smaller as the years go by. There are still too many unanswered questions, like why does it change color, and why has it been going for 400 years? Doubt we will ever know the truth. Number 19, Back to Black. From red to black, it's been said that someday, the night sky will be completely black, which isn't a very reassuring thought, is it? The Milky Way is continuously merging with neighboring galaxies, and with that, our view from Earth changes too. Fortunately, this won't happen overnight, excuse the pun, but will take thousands of years to happen. Number 18, a little paradox. There's a concept called the Fermi Paradox, and it involves the hot topic when it comes to space and that's aliens. The universe is massive and humans are teeny in comparison, and surely, we can't be the only ones. There is so much evidence suggesting that there is extraterrestrial life, yet we haven't had concrete evidence proving it. Bring on the Fermi Paradox. Number 17, the Great Attractor. Located roughly 220 million light years away is something known as the Great Attractor, but what it's doing is not that attractive. It's pulling our galaxy toward it, and this gravitational anomaly has been studied rather intensely. It's now believed that it's not the Great Attractor pulling the galaxy, but what's behind it that's responsible for the pull? The Shapely Supercluster is located behind it, and we are moving towards it. Why this is happening is still anyone's guess. Number 16, I'll drink to that. Close to the center of the Milky Way is a dust cloud that has picked the interest of scientists for a few years. It's earned the name Sagittarius B2, and is said to smell like rum and taste like raspberries. The gas cloud is made up mostly of ethyl formate, which is the same thing that gives raspberries their flavor, and rum its unique smell. The cloud contains billions of liters of ethyl formate, but due to the presence of propyl cyanide, well, probably not a good idea to drink any of this stuff. Number 15, a little moonshine. For a brief moment in time back in 2013, Saturn had a tiny little moon named Peggy. NASA's Cassini took the shots that caught the images of the mysterious little moon. It's the only time this has ever been known to happen, and the status of little Peggy is still unknown today. 
Number 14, Fire and Ice. We spoke about Gliese 581c earlier, and this next intriguing find is from the same solar system. There's a planet there that is made entirely from ice and is called Gliese 436b, and it's 439 degrees Celsius. It's basically a burning ice cube, and the only reason it hasn't melted is because of the, the massive amounts of water on the planet. The gravitational pull is so strong it keeps pulling the water toward the core, making the water molecules fit so tightly together they're unable to evaporate. Number 13, no warning needed. Meteors should frighten you to no end, as they can hit Earth at any given time. According to Space.com, thousands of meteors hit Earth every year, but most of them go unnoticed, as they tend to weigh less than a pound. In 2013, the Shelyabinsk meteor entered Earth's atmosphere over Russia and tore apart 15 miles above ground. Without impact, it injured 1,600 people and generated a gigantic shockwave. Number 12. Hear my scream. Have you ever wondered what kind of noise is up in space? Would there even be a noise because space is a vacuum, right? Well, there's a noise all right. It can be very loud. There are these crazy sound waves picked up throughout space that have been dubbed the space roar. The noise is so loud and it drowns out other signals, which can be rather annoying to scientists. It's thought the roar may be leftover radiation from previous stars, while some people think it's gas swirling around galaxies or the actual galaxies. At this stage though, that's all noise. Number 11, and the winner is Mars. When it comes to volcanoes, our ones on Earth pale in comparison to what you can find on Mars. On Mars, you'll find the biggest volcano known to man. The volcano is called Olympus Mon, and it's the biggest one in our solar system. This monstrosity spans 374 miles across and is 16 miles high. So in more measurable terms, it's as big as Arizona and triple the height of Mount Everest. The reason they can grow so big on Mars is due to weaker gravity, but how they actually formed in the first place is still a mystery. Number 10, it's in his DNA. Hard to imagine that someone's DNA can actually change if too much time has been spent in space, but it has been known to happen. Astronaut Scott Kelly spent 12 months at the International Space Station, and when he came back, he was two inches taller than before he left. They then compared his DNA to his identical twin brother and found that Scott's gene expression had changed and his gut bacteria was totally different. It was put down to the stresses of space travel making changes in his cell's biological pathways. Number nine, ray of light. Out there in space, there is an electrical current that is so strong, it has the same power as one trillion lightning bolts. It's believed the lightning comes from a massive black hole that is apparently a huge cosmic jet. The black hole has a large magnetic field and along with gas, fires up lightning bolts. It's said that one lightning bolt is one and a half times the size of Earth, but unfortunately, it's a few thousand light years away. Number eight, Venus has wind. Venus has become known for its super powerful winds, which are believed to soar 50 times faster than the Earth rotates. The European Venus Express spacecraft studied the planet from 2006 to 2014 and deduced that the winds were getting stronger over time. Number seven, Planet Zapper. Massive explosions in space cause huge gamma ray bursts, which can destroy almost anything in their path, such as planets. It is believed that such an explosion occurs in the Milky Way only every five million years, and they would be too far from us to cause us too severe sunburn. Number six, you can't always stay out of the sun. A massive solar superstorm known as coronal mass ejection occurred in 2012. It collided with the Stereo A spacecraft after ripping through Earth's orbit. According to experts, our planet would have suffered substantial after effects, such as power blackouts throughout the globe, if the event happened two weeks earlier. Number five, speed demon. Strange but true, there are hypervelocity stars rocketing through space at over two million miles per hour. Six of these speedy stars, the size of our sun or larger, have recently been discovered near the center of the Milky Way and are likely trying to escape the gravity of the black hole at the center of our galaxy. Yes, there are actually stars pummeling through space at trillions of miles per hour. Number four, the shrinking planet. A few years ago, information from the Mercury probe, which was intentionally crashed into the planet, revealed numerous fault scarps, kind of like cliffs to you and me. As these are fairly small, cosmologists are convinced that they were not created very long ago, proving Mercury is still contracting over four billion years after the formation of the solar system. Mercury is believed to be the only other tectonically planet in the system other than Earth. Number three, smelly space. Who would have thought that space is strange smelling? like sulfur, burning metal, overcooked steak, and fumes from welding are some of the descriptions provided by astronauts. Further evidence is the fact the spacesuits of astronauts contain the smell even when they are back on Earth. Number two, unicorns in the sky. The Trifid Nebula looks a bit like a unicorn, doesn't it? Number one, even our galaxy is still mysterious. Courtesy of NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, 
In 2010, cosmologists located a huge and interesting feature in our own galaxy, consisting of two huge bubbles extending above and below the Milky Way. Each orb is nearly 30,000 light years tall, which is a big proportion of our 100,000 light width of our galaxy, and they thought to be only about 5 million years old, an embryo in space years. Within these bubbles, gamma rays are created by very energetic electrons colliding with lower energy light rays. But no one is sure why or how as of right now. Theories include it can be the remnants of a massive black hole in the Milky Way center or evidence of a huge supernova. Astronomers are studying the feature in order to learn more about its origin and to form a greater understanding of our galaxy.